If you didn't know, I have another podcast, Brain Laundry Podcast, and I had some unreleased episodes on it that I thought, since they're unreleased, they'll be better over here because I feel like they would help you with business and with being more successful as an entrepreneur. So I didn't release them on there yet. So I just wanted to let you know that there's going to be some websites mentioned and some links mentioned that are for my other podcast. So just change that in your mind when I say those episodes, those websites. Well, brainlogicpodcast.com is the same website. It is still going to link you to the same website. But the websites you're going to want to go to for any tools and tips from this are going to be smalltownentrepreneurs.com if you want to retrieve any of these tools that I talk about in this episode or if you want to review this episode in any way. It's going to be smalltownentrepreneurs.com. You can't go to brainlogicpodcast.com, but I just didn't want you confused if you didn't listen to that podcast or you haven't heard of it yet. Brainlogicpodcast.com is still active. It is the same website, but I wanted to let you know in case you have not heard of that podcast, but you can type in smalltownentrepreneurs.com and get the same results and find everything you need on there. So that's the quick disclaimer. Let's hop right into it. Enjoy this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I love seeing you take time out your day to listen to this information. And I know somebody out there is working towards creating success. So enjoy and I'll let you get right into this episode. In this episode, I'm going to be giving you sites and sources of where you can find people to engage with and network with to grow your business. So let's get right into it. We ain't going to wait. If you're new here, new episodes every single Monday and Wednesday. So tune in for that Brain Laundry Podcast. And any questions that you have, we talk about on Wednesday is business and entrepreneurship and Monday is mindset and personal success. So any questions you have revolving that feel free to send them in. Visit currencymob334.com. That's C-U-R-R-E-N-C-Y-M-O-B-334.com. Visit there, hit the contact page, and send any questions you have. Let's get right into it. Good sources for networking. I got you eight sources, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and what they do. I don't want to waste your time. I want you to get out there and engage and network. And if you have any other sites or sources that I did not list right here, comment them down below for the rest of the community to see so they can use them as well. And we can all grow and learn from each other. With that being said, we're going to get into it. My first source that I have for you is Crowdly. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of Crowdly. It's a uh, I love it personally and what it does is it helps you identify authentic advocates who are actually looking to collaborate with businesses and brands outside of paid campaigns and sponsorships. So if you're looking for real people who actually want to share the message behind your brand versus getting a paycheck, this is where you go to. It's Crowdly and just uh, FYI, every source that I list is going to be on the website as well, currencymob334.com. Go there, just click on the blog, and it'll be good sites and sources for networking. And any sites that you have that you list and comment down below, I'm going to add those as well, and then I'll add your name and your profile to whoever gives me that tip. So that way we know where it came from. But Crowdly is awesome if you're looking to get real authentic people who actually care about what it is your brand represents. So, and I know, and I know you do. That's really, that's why we do this stuff. We actually, we don't want to team up with somebody who don't give a shit. They just want pay, you know, but we also want to be adding value too. That's why if you haven't checked out the, I did a network series recently. And if you haven't checked those episodes out, I suggest you go check those out. Plenty of, them. Value is offered in that episode. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback, so thank you so much for that, for sending me the the positive vibes, man. I, I appreciate it, and it means a lot to me. But let's get on to number two. Number two is MuseFine. It's an influencer marketing platform that helps you identify influencers looking to collab and includes matching messaging and ROI tracking functionality, so you can... You can 
see who you match up with by what somebody's wanting to what they're what they're wanting to put their message out there is they'll help you it'll help you align with people who are similar and want to do similar things with their brand for the world as well and it'll help you track like I, like I said it's your ROI and I haven't used this one as much I've, I've messed with it a little bit but because I've been using Crowdly I've been, I've been enjoying that one so that's why it's number one check that one out and I'm going to get to the number four one I love number four as well but Muse Phil, or Muse Fine excuse me it's M-U-S-E-F-I-N-D check it out and if any of you have experience with that, comment down below how you enjoy it. I haven't used it as much, but I've talked to people in my network that have gotten some big value from it. So I had to throw it in here. Number three is Ninja Outreach, an influencer marketing platform that provides access to thousands of influencers in every single niche best based on your interests and I love it. I like this website, man. It's you can. I like it because it has a filter on there. When you log in, you have a filter, and you can literally, you can pick what you're wanting to look for. It filters all the social, engaged social media networks, and automates the outreach campaigns. So you could run campaigns from from uh, Ninja Outreach. It's easy to use, and it's very. You can get really specific with it is why it's great so if you're in a very targeted niche hit that one up and you can you can find you can find what you're looking for on ninja outreach especially like i said if you're if you're kind of a targeted niche like you might be how to you might be in the food industry but you only specialize in making just sweet tea for after hard baseball games on Sundays. I don't know. You know, I'm just talking out my ass right now. But that's, uh, you know, if you're that specific, Ninja Outreach is pretty good. Number four right here, boy, I love it. It's free. These are free too. So I got to throw that disclaimer in there. But this is my favorite. I love it. I'm sure you've heard of it. But have you used it? Buzz Sumo. Whew, bro, this is... This is what I, this, I've met five, four or five nice influencers on here that, that I, that I network with. And, and it's not really influencers, it's their friends. I've made good quality relationships, four or five, I believe it's five on BuzzSumo alone. It's awesome. I love it. And it does other stuff as well. It'll help you see what your, can, your competition is doing as well. And ideas for that you can share content around specific keywords and topics and filter results by you can you can adjust the level of authority like so you can get people similar following size to you or engagement and stuff like that and a killer banger is right here um like if you're like me in a smaller town you can find other people close to you and yeah, when you're in a small town, I'm talking about close to you might be two hours sometimes, but still, if you're able to meet up with somebody like that in person, it's very powerful and it's worth it. I not highly suggest it, but you can target by location as well, which is very powerful and it's powerful for anybody, big town or small town. So that's why Buzz Sumo is great. You can meet people in person and target from keywords, see what the competition is doing as well. So check out Buzz Sumo. Number five, Little Bird. And it just helps you, same thing, identify influencers by topic or niche. It's a nice way. This should be, this could be something like, if you're having trouble with any of the other ones and you're like, dude, this is just too much, man. I don't, I don't enjoy this. Little Bird is the one you want to start off with. Very, very simple very simple and it's it's powerful it works i have used it it's what i started off using because i said the same thing i was like man fuck get about all of this you know what i'm saying and just had and i was just overwhelmed and then i just kind of sat there on the other ones and i was like oh well no it's not it's not that bad but at first it can be overwhelming with all the options you can click on and filters on the other ones so 
if you don't like filters and all that stuff, try Little Bird. It's a great starter and great way to kick off your campaign or research to find influencers or people to network with. That's number five. Number six, Hunter.io. This is that stalking app. Now, not only will this help you get in touch with people, influencers, or people that you want to network with that are big, this thing will help you get in touch with that ex-girlfriend that dumped you six years ago when you're just trying to, you know, pull up on bay. Put that, uh, you can put in her information straight up. You can put in information based on her domain names. And I'm not telling you to do this. Don't stalk your girlfriend. Don't do that. Just think about it. In your head, keep it there. Hold it there. And let's get back to business. What you can use Hunter IO for is to help you find email addresses based on domain names now. And, you know, like I said, though, just be careful not to fucking stalk people and freak them out by getting their personal addresses without consent, you know? They're like, hey, you know, I, uh, I want to chill with you and grow some businesses. You know, I want to offer you some value. Because if somebody texted me or emailed me and said, I want to add some value and work with you, you know what I'm saying? You know what we're all thinking? Just take a second. Guess what we're all thinking right now? Every single one of us, guess what we're thinking when we get that email? We don't believe you. That's a but. That's a, you know, think you're coming from my butt. And if you're a girl, you might be just coming to... You know, hit me with that Casey Anthony that put me out. You know, that that one napkin knockout, baby. And I'm not really, you know, I ain't trying, you know. She got away with that shit, so I can't risk it, you know. They're out here letting people slide. Next thing is, that's Hunter I.O. That's Hunter.io. Find them emails, but be responsible, guys, seriously. I'll punt, I'll pun and jokes aside don't creep nobody out you know how it would feel so just think about that number seven though is tracker now this is how tracker is spelled t-r-a-a-c-r and it is a an, it's another influencer discovery and management platform that my friend insisted that i add in here because i I like to, when I make these things, I, I will only add in things that I've used and that I have knowledge on, but I'll ask close people that I've gained and met through networking, I will ask their opinions, and the ones that I see recurring the most, and the ones that they're like, hey dude, you gotta add this one from a trusty source, then I'm gonna add it in there, and this one came up several times, and I was told, hey, it's a, it's a damn good site, it's a tracker. And that's number seven. Number eight. This is the last one, guys. I promise. But it's Buzzstream. B-U-Z-Z Stream. And it's another, yet another, discovery and outreach platform that organizes and streamlines your communication efforts. And I got to tell you, this one right here is for the ballers. Because this one costs you. And I'm going to tell you the prices of it. You can try it free. Buzz stream, but you're going to have to pay for it eventually. Now, the starter subscription is $24 a month, and it offers you a contact and campaign management, email tracking, outreach templates. So you can have a template to go ahead and fill out when you find somebody that you want to network with. But it, you don't need that because you know why? I've already done that for you in the other networking episodes. So check that out. Check that out. I provided you everything you needed in that. So, you know, I took care of you on that. I didn't want you to pay no money. Especially if we're trying to grow in the, in the stages where we're kind of trying to invest in other places if we're able to. But if we're not able to, we would. But you're able to because I provided this for you. But I want to, if you're a baller out there, and you, you know, you're balling like Kobe, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you this. But it offers you, what else, let's see, Twitter conversation tracking, Chrome extension, email performance reports, and link monitoring, link monitoring to a thousand links. That's a $24 package. The next one, 
and that's for one user, by the way. The next one is 99 a month. It's for three users. And it's bulk email sending, team template sharing, project performance reporting, link sharing, customiz customizable permissions, automated follow-ups. Powerful right there, though. Link monitoring up to 25,000 links. And then phone and email support, plus all the other stuff from the other subscription. The next one is 300 a month, six. It, it provides you the ability to have six users. It's team performance reporting. So you can tell if you need to fire somebody. You know, if Amanda's failing, if Amanda ain't showing up to work, you gotta cut. It ain't nothing to cut that, you know, off. And then unlimited report customization integration via web services API. And then link monitoring. Link monitoring. And if you, I'm kind of messing up on words, I'm getting some latency in these damn headphones, man. I had a record on my backup laptop and it was not set up but I had to get it out for you because you need it I'm trying to help every, we, we got to help each other get bigger man we gotta we gotta do this thing and we're aiming for success and I want everybody to do the best they can and create some great relationships because that is what's key to business and life but that is the last one bus stream and that is for the ballers. So Buzzstream for the ballers. But that is it. If you enjoyed this and you enjoy tips like this and learning about how to create success in your life, improving your life, both personally and in your business and entrepreneur career, then subscribe, share this with someone who also is interested in learning stuff like this. And you'll always get tips from me where you can apply. This will never be no, hey, we're just going to talk about the gist of something and not a, give you a way to apply. You'll always take something away. And that is my key. That is my goal. That is my mission. So that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Brain Laundry Podcast. We out here, baby. And don't forget. Go to currencymob334.com and send in any questions you have for a future episode of Brain Laundry Podcast. See you guys. Love you so much. Thank you.